All right, hey everyone, T-Mobile just released a brand new app that consolidates several of them. This is the end of January 2024, and really the point of this is to try to make the user experience better, and there are some interesting things I wanna show you in regards to the T-Mobile home internet part especially, but if you aren't aware of T-Mobile uh, Tuesday deals, then you really should also be aware of those because you can get some really good uh, discounts or freebies even um, if you follow along with their app. Okay, so right here I have one of T-Mobile's uh, home internet gateways. This one is the Sagemcom 5688W, but they have a few others as well. And the app works pretty much the same for all of them. And that's what we'll show you here. Now, what you wanna do is go in and download the app if it's not automatically updated for you. Now, I do have to give a shout out to the Mobile Report Online. That actually tracks a lot of um, this type of news and that is a place I go to to get some information. So that's where I first found out about this new T-Life app. So in the uh, App Store or the Play Store, whichever device you have or Android or Apple, you can go in here and you can search for T-Life app. Now, your devices should automatically update if you have that um, set as automatic update for your devices. But in here, we can look, it tells you a few things. One is that this app does not replace just one app. It's trying to replace all the little extra apps that T-Mobile has, which I was a little bit annoyed that I had a T-Mobile app, and then I had a T-Mobile Home Internet app, and there's a T-Mobile Tuesdays app, and it looks like there's even a few other apps that they had. And this tried to combine all of them other than the T-Mobile. So the main T-Mobile app that you use for your account to look at your billing and your data and to change devices, that appears to still be part of a separate T-Mobile app and then this T Life app is all the other ones stuck together. So there are some things in here that I thought was interesting because it called out T Mobile Home Internet and it had the standard list of very limited things that you could change, but then it also said more settings to come. So I want to kind of dive in there and see if there's any hints of what else is uh, is coming up. So uh, it says already 10 million plus downloads. I, I wonder if that is is the case or if that is um, counting the other apps uh, prior to it. So uh, I already installed it on this tablet. This is my first time actually loading it up, so I'm gonna see what it shows me here. All right, so do we want notifications? And here is showing you that it's combining all this stuff together. All right, so now here's another thing. If you are a T-Mobile Home Internet user, you might get stuck here, um, especially if you tried T-Mobile Tuesday's app before, because you might uh, have trouble setting up your T-Mobile ID. Oftentimes they wanna text you information. There is ways to use the email address um, and you can get your phone number either off of the device itself or if you have a bill, you can also get the phone number off that or even the email confirmation that you um, that you got when you signed up for it. If you signed up for it online, then uh, it'll have the phone number on there as well. So you can use that and worst case, you can call uh, T-Mobile and ask for a ID to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So do review the data policies. You do not have to check these tick marks to share data. You can just leave them unchecked and uh, skip through. All right, you will have to give it precise location though for the um, home internet app to help it find signal as well as for some of the um, T-Mobile Tuesday deals that they have. All right, so here's just kind of the introduction. It shows you that it's these different apps that they're throwing together here. All right, so here in the app, now you can see the main top piece is the T-Mobile Tuesdays ones and then you scroll down a little bit you see the 5G internet because you know we have a 5G home internet and then you can see other offers in there so I can go in here to manage my home internet and we can try to connect all right so you do need to be connected to the uh, Wi-Fi of this device or plugged in through the Ethernet and then you can go in and you can uh, manage now because this is um, the first time I use it I do have to type in the admin password to this device it will remember that in the future though all right, so the admin password is what is on the back of it. There are two passwords, and there are little uh, periods between the words. So if you uh, if you haven't changed it, it would be that. If you don't remember what it is, you can press and hold the reset button on the gateway, and it will clear back to that default one, but it will also wipe off any uh, Wi-Fi settings that you have if you did that. All right, so this is what it looks like. It definitely does look different than before with the T-Mobile Home Internet app. But here we can see my my networks. We can see what I'm connected to. We can see my phone number. Uh, you can click here on devices, uh, similar to before, and you can look at, at what device it is. What is nice is at least it does give you um, the text name. Sometimes before it would just give you the MAC address. I think they updated that over time. But you can block the device. 
you can click on it and also get some more information as far as blocking internet access for it or set a schedule for it so it gives you um, the ability to um, basically do a little bit of parental controls in here with the scheduling type and then if we go back here to the network itself we can see this is where I can add my Wi-Fi networks something like adding a separate 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz um, frequency band and I do recommend you split them I won't get into that on, on this video but this is how you would do it you would say I want it to be just 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz and you name them differently and then you can change uh, your devices to only connect to one of them if you have trouble with the connection. WPA is the same way. You might want to make it uh, WPA slash WPA2 to make it more compatible with some older devices. And uh, those are the same settings that you could do before in the T-Mobile Home Internet there. But if we go to more, um, we can see that there are some um, other features here. One is the Gateway Placement app. This is the same uh, thing as before, which really is just looking uh, to see where you are. I'm gonna skip the video here. Uh, I have to share my location with it. And so here it's showing me where I'm at and that um, circle there on the right of my screen is where it's saying that's the direction of my tower. Now, if I zoom out or something, that doesn't move with you. So it doesn't give you exactly where the tower is. It could be a mile, it could be six miles away. Mine's about a mile away that way. But this is um, designed to help get you uh, placing this device closer to where your tower is on that side of the house at the very least is the best and then higher up is also better. All right, so that placement app, you know, it's a little bit helpful. At least it gives you the direction that your uh, device is in, but I wouldn't call it uh, perfect by any means. So here we can also go into advanced cellular metrics. This is a good one for um, understanding your signals. And this looks like is a big change because now you actually get all of your different bands and this was a real uh, struggle I had before was you could not see all your different um, bands because it would only have one LTE and one 5G but we all know that T-Mobile does carrier aggregation so you can have many of them now down here in my basement I barely get any signal I mean it says I get a good LTE signal excellent but I, I don't get any 5G down here so I need to move this back up into the third floor loft or use one of my external antennas so I can get better signal all right um, what else? We add remove gateways. That's kind of interesting. I have not seen this one before. Um, I wonder if that is just adding a gateway to this app in case you have multiples. I don't think it's adding um, a new gateway with that SIM card or something. So that's probably what that is now that I think about it. I was got a little excited for a second though. All right, and then what else? Uh, gateway information. I guess this is just going to give you the model number, uh, firmware, and some other information there. So I think I did hear that they did push out a firmware and that one does look um, like a unique number. So I wonder if that firmware was to help it um, send out all of the cell metrics um, and not just the, the main two. Because I believe even with the third party apps like the Hint Control app, you couldn't get the additional uh, bands in there either. So that might be a new thing. Okay, and then there's a user guide and support if you really want to dive into more there, you can see that. But um, I saw in um, one of the screenshots that it, it did reference that there are more features to come. So I'm very excited to see what else uh, comes out if they improve this app, if they give you more control of these. That would be really uh, a big change and improvement if they could do that. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel uh, so you can see more like this.